that would all, you know, with us being in the group, that would always be around Jay. Jay is just 100 dude. He's just real. I mean, and a lot of times they don't know. They think that Jay is just this CEO putting the money behind it and, and you know, and he good. No, Jay involved. Did we, when they be in the studio, Jay in there. Now, you know, say, hey, man, no, 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 no. Bring, bring that back. Why don't you say this like this? Come on, man. Look, you know, come on. You can come harder than that. He technical. He, he in there. He tell them ghetto boys, like, yeah, them ghetto boys albums and all that kind of stuff. Like Jay was there. He wouldn't. It wasn't like he called into the studio to see how everything went. No, Jay putting in the work. Yeah, we on Boss Talk One on One. So Melo was Scarface's hype man. Mm. So he was really working. I mean, that Melo got to be probably the mo one of the most talented uh, artists I've ever worked with in my life. Wow. So ever. Yeah. What you mean? Ever, even ever. more talented because than Scarface? He sings well. Now two I'm different, gonna, two different. Uh, well, I'm not gonna ever say he can rap better than Scarface because Scarface is my fave. He my goat. Yeah, you know what I'm saying so. I'm not gonna say you know him. And, it's two people that I have, Scarface and K. Reno. I mean, and I happen to know both of them like like this or whatever. Where does Pimp C fall in all of that? Pimp C is hey, a that's monster. different, but that's different though. No, no, no. Hey, you know, I, I I get you right, but Pimp C was a, a beast too, because you know all of us hung together. Right. Pimp C and Bun hung with rap a lot just as well. You know, you, they inj would be on you injecting Pimp C into something that they would be because he us. was, but he was jive though, and he was they were under under he was but he under different record label, and then they was in Port Arthur, which is like. What, 45, uh, 50 minutes away from Houston, That's right? true. That's true. So, but at, yet and still, even though, you're right about that, but he still would hang out with us. Correct. I you get know, it. We I get go, it. We would go on shows and stuff like that. We did. We even did shows in, in PA. Yeah. And so, P Pimp C and Bond, they would be right there with us. We were cool. We did shows in Austin together, you know, and all of that kind of stuff. Like, I mean, we did a whole but lot I'm of I'm trying to shows. get this rapper like but spill right now. I don't know I why she didn't inject it, Pimp C, because I'm going there with you. Okay, that's cool. But right we now, I want to talk about this Scarface and this whole the the, the legendary move that Jay, because we can't leave Lil Jay out, you know Never. what I'm saying? Never. So, you know, all of this Never. stuff is working together. And, Look, and so, to death. I mean, like, man, really. So you see what I'm saying? Like for me, my whole career, I mean, post rap a lot. Wow. You so know, how did you me, first meet me, me, Lil J? J well, but I got cool with Jay through Melo. You know, man, you know, Jay and Melo was real tight. Me okay. and Big Melo was real tight or whatever. But that would all, you know, with us being in the group, that would always be around Jay. Jay is just 100 dude. He's just real. I mean, and a lot of times, they don't know. They think that Jay is just this CEO putting the money behind it and, and you know, and he good. No, Jay involved. Did we, when they be in the studio, Jay in there. Now, you know, say, hey, man, no, 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 no. Bring, bring that back. Why don't you say this like this? Come on, man. Look, you know, come on. You can come harder than that. He technical. He, he in there. He tell Them ghetto boys, like, yeah, them ghetto boys albums and all that kind of stuff. Like, Jay was there. He wouldn't, it wasn't like he called into the studio to see how everything went. No, Jay putting in the work. Wow. And that's what I'm saying. People just done, didn't know that part about Jay. Jay in there. Like you what could, time we gotta go? Oh, okay, I'll be there. You could tell because he, he was in on. there. But when he would say, "Oh yeah, yeah he he, oh yeah, that's on the intro." He in there, like yeah, yeah, he in there. He, he in there. He, he watching what's going on. He, he want to know how this and whole. And then project. if he had listened to some songs, like, man, I think we can just. I think I don't, I don't know, man. I think we can go back on that one, man. And I'm talking about songs that's getting ready to get wrapped up. Jay, listen to and. Mm, I love he music. And he was in there. He That's loved what I'm music. saying. Yeah, he wasn't no just CEO like, oh, okay, y'all ready to eat the money? Okay, we didn't chunk that wasn't him. No, he was hands on. And so, I mean, like with us and everybody, he wouldn't. This, you know, Jay wanted to it, and and not that we got to just do stuff albums for him, but he wanted to be involved. Wow. He loved music so much, he wanted to be with it. You know, he yeah, Jay was on that hip hop. He was on his hip hop. Yeah, we on Boss Talk One on One.